Look at this kitchen. This is the craziest kitchen I've seen yet. I it's, haven't seen one come out like this. No, there isn't any. No, this no, is, this this is, is the actually time. the um, Heritage Glen Elite, Glen Elite 36 Front Living FL. Yeah. You know what people really want to know? What's that? Who in the world's talking to me right now? Everybody. Yeah, they're not here yet. Oh. No, you. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, what I've been telling everybody is just introduce yourself so they know who's talking. And hey. So they fall in love with the, the salespeople yeah. and, and call them and feel like they're best friends when they call to order I'm, from you. <laughs> I am Carrie, um, extension 117. Been doing this for quite some time. Um, so, you know, again, like I said, we're sitting here in front of the Heritage Glen. Yeah. That's uh, it? That's all you're going to tell us is just your name? What do you want to know? Uh, how old are you? No, I'm kidding. Don't. No, but Ouch. I know. You don't ask that. Two that, things that's you do not ask no. a woman. Uh, I don't want to ask how old you are. How much do you weigh? I'm kidding. I'm being stupid. Wow. Uh, no, we got plenty of information from you. Yeah. I want to shut up before you smack me. <laughs> He's uh. on it. He's on it. <laughs> All right, what have we so, got here? Yeah, we got the Heritage Glen um, 36 FL. This is the elite uh -huh. um, model of this. And like you said, when we first came out, this, this is actually what they call the elite outdoor bar entertainment. Okay. So really, there's no need to go in until the, you know, yeah. you, until you're ready to go until to bed you're, if you don't ready want to. Bed. But yeah, you have your, your, your frigid air cooler here, right? Sink, your grill, your yeah. griddle, TV, 32 oh, inches. I didn't see the TV. I was so 32. fascinated by this. I didn't even yeah. see the TV. There's a lot of really neat features just on the outside of this camper. Yeah, look so at that. yeah, you Turn know, for, for the cooking. games that aren't happening yeah. um, this year. Um, so yeah, so entertainment, all the entertainment you want to do out here. Um, you do have your outdoor speakers, all uh -huh. right, so that you can do everything on the inside and listen to it out here. Like I said, this this camper alone has a lot of outdoor features. Uh -huh. So we're just gonna kind of go around. Okay. Um, really. Two really large pass-throughs. Um, as you can see, you know, again, when that comes in, you still have a lot of storage mm -hmm. out here. But not only do you have this pass-through, but you have a pass-through out here as well, here right beside it. So you've got two, two pass-through storage. Now, this camper has a total of four slides. Oh, this is cool, by the way. I haven't seen this yet, just something I noticed. This comes out? Yes, so you can easily access yeah, that's without brilliant. crawling into the whole entire camper. Um, it's, it's really, you could store just about anything back here uh -huh. and not that's have to great. worry about trying to get it from the inside uh -huh. or crawling through, you know, sending your kids through to, to get it. Right, right, now that's good. Inside. Especially on the warm, super warm days, you don't want to be, you right. don't want to be <laughs> right. doing that. Um, now this camper is actually 43 foot nine inches so it's it's a pretty good uh -huh. good size camper and it only weighs uh, it weighs under 13,000 pounds wow so you know you can pretty much use a lot of different vehicles to mm -hmm. tow this camper okay um <laughs> we're kind of walking around but again I, reason why i wanted to point this out is there's just a lot of storage a lot of storage a lot of storage for this camper okay. and like i said a total of four slides on this camper um it sleeps six all right um, so when we go on the inside, you're going to really see what sets this apart from a lot of the different other fifth wheels that are out there. Um, yeah. Well, I feel like already that kitchen, that outdoor kitchen, it's, sets it, it apart. It is. It's big. Um, because a lot of times you just get the littler refrigerators. You know, you can put a 12-pack a or uh -huh. a right. pop. Yeah, a pop, yeah. In, Pepsi, in there. Diet Pepsi. Yeah, Diet Pepsi. Um, as you can see how easy it is yeah, just to take cool. it in and out. And yeah. being able, not too many of them do come with the actual TV, but this does as well. Now these right. steps, these are your 32 inch entry steps. And like the other ones you've seen, they do fold up in. So mm -hmm. pretty good there. And you, you actually enter right into the kitchen and you feel like you're at home. Yeah. All right. Big panoramic window right there at the kitchen. Um, you know, a little bar area here two tables. I mean, this is truly 
your fifth wheel for entertainment mm -hmm. really is what it comes that's, down that's to. That's a good way to put it. Um, huge storage, or we got, you know, your, your cabinetry here. Mm -hmm. I know what I want to say. Pantry? Pantry, thank you. <laughs> it's all right, I've had yeah. to say it a few times. Yeah, 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 pantry. Three burner stove. As you can see, everything here is stainless steel. Close yeah, it up. we don't have much luck together opening up refrigerators, so no, it, it's we've had closed problems up. Before. So yeah. we're just going to leave it be. But you got your residential, residential microwave. Mm -hmm. Bigger oven, a lot of drawers, a lot of storage space. You look at the, the designs on the cabinetry, the window look. Yeah. Really decorative there. Um, this is actually a bath and a half. Okay. Okay. So you, you're able to get that? Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Where's, Are you wondering? Yeah. All right. You sink? Is that what yeah, you're talking about? No. Okay. Well, you might. <laughs> but there you oh, go. Wow. I didn't even, I looked right at it and for some yeah. reason I didn't even think that's there, got to be a bathroom. There's your half bath. These actually have your porcelain, porcelain toilets. Okay. Um, but I really like to point out the bedroom in this one because this has got your extra wide slide. Um, oh yeah. Extra wide slide, king size bed. This bed is actually 72 by 80. Wow. So, and then you've got actual nightstands, right, on uh -huh. each side um, with windows. Yes. That's a little storage, I'm assuming that's locked. It's locked, but we can unlock it. Okay. Maybe not. Here we go. So yes, that's where you know put your shoes or mm -hmm. the men's clothes. Just kidding. Yeah. Just kind of stuff them in there. Yeah. Again, another 32-inch TV in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. um, you've got your closet with drawers. Okay. This is a little more designed, kind of kind of give you that country feel too. And one thing that I point out in the bedroom, these are actual your taller, taller bedroom height yeah. ceilings so that you have the room. Right. I'm six eleven, so you're about six foot mm -hmm. and we still have yeah. plenty of room. <laughs> yeah, it's not I true, am... I'm not six eleven. <laughs> and I'm not six foot, so <laughs> um, but yeah. So and then you've got two ACs in this unit as well. Um, and then he is actually standing in the main bathroom. Uh -huh. And check out this bathroom. Again, residential walk-in shower. It's a big old shower. Yes. Um, and then again, another porcelain toilet. Um, so what's really nice about the bath and a half is again, you have your private bathroom. Mm -hmm. If you have guests, you are entertaining. They don't have to walk through your right. entire trailer to, or your tire, tire coach to get to the restroom. Is this washer and dryer? This is going to be your washer and dryer, and then I've got, again, the area to hang um, clothing as well. Um, and then, so you can see it's pretty sharp. Yeah. Um, for the way, and then you have, again. What's that? Oh, we just lost the phone. Oops. Uh, I'm assuming you guys can still hear me, I think. If you can still hear me. We just, uh, we just lost our, uh, our camera. We got another one coming. Uh, am I still on the air? Can people still hear me? We're going to keep talking like they can hear me. Okay. You can't see what we're doing, but we're walking up to... Uh, I can point out some things while, you know, things that you really can't see. A Wi-Fi Ranger extender. This uh -huh. comes with your Wi-Fi wi Ranger extender. Heated and enclosed underbelly. A lot of folks ask about that because that is really, really important okay. um, for your extended travel. Uh, let's see what else. Um... We're standing in the living room, so I'll point most of that out when he gets back in here with us. It's on its way. Here he comes. Here he comes. All right, we're back to live. I don't know if they could hear us while we were, uh, while that was going on, but we're back ah, to live. Ah, we're here. There he is. Uh, All right. We made so, it to the living room. Yeah, standing in the living room, you'll see you have your two trifold sofas. Mm -hmm. And again, lots of window. Two panoramic windows. Two sliders here. Two slides. Yep, like I said, this is a total of four slides in this camper. You've got a 55-inch TV um, with the fireplace, uh -huh. and then again your sound your sound system here, yep. um, and then then your theater seating as well. Thomas Paine. Thomas Paine. Which I've learned is the way to go. It is. Um, it is the best furniture that you can, as far as and it's residential furniture that they're putting in the campers. More and more uh, manufacturers are using the Thomas Paine. Okay. 
All right. Yeah. Um, now this, a couple things I forgot to add on the outside. This does have your six foot, six, six point auto level. Okay. So it makes it very, very easy there. Um, what am I missing? Again, I said your windows. Mm -hmm. The length, 40, 43 foot. Now, one thing about this fifth wheel, the price point. Yeah. All right. Um, what do you think? You, <laughs> I know so you've been at looking at a lot of these units. I know. I see. I want to see. Now I'm thinking. I go like way low, just so I don't. Uh, we had one. We had a fifth wheel earlier that was. I feel like it was, seventy six, earlier. Mm, I don't know what we showed. Was it know. the redwood? It might have been. It might have been a redwood. Yeah. I feel like, but I'm mixing some of them up. I'm going to say, I'll say 76. Yeah. No. Um, that's one thing awesome about this one. It's $46,000. <laughs> so you've got, oh, yeah. It drives me crazy. that I 76000 I thought, oh, I'm going to embarrass myself and say a number way too low. And I was $30,000 over. And you've heard me say this before. Um, you can have a fifth wheel like this for less than you can a car payment. Yeah. You know, for 300, literally $355 a month, you can have a camper like this. Wow. Now, you know how warm it is outside. You're, you know, it feels comfortable in here with this AC. You uh -huh. know, and like I said, this has your two 15K ACs, one here and then one back in your in your in your bedroom yeah um but again this is really good entertainment camper all right a lot of your the decor is is pretty modern uh-huh as you can see so yeah it's pretty yeah, sharp is, it's nice in here and very roomy and i i really love the fifth wheel because i like whether this is a bedroom or i like the ones that overlook yeah. Almost like a balcony. And what a lot of the customers pay a lot of attention to when they walk into a camper, especially when they are, the living room or the bedroom is is rise, there's steps that go in. Uh -huh. They really pay attention to the room that they have. And as you can see, um, you are a little bit taller and you're very comfortable here. Oh, yeah. You don't feel like you're, you have to bend down to get in or be I'm, comfortable. I'm six foot. And obviously it's <laughs> higher in the middle, but clear up against, I got plenty of, I, it yeah. doesn't even you have plenty of room me. yeah plenty of room wow so, and there's a lot of lighting in this camper the light colors we've mentioned earlier today light colors make it feel brighter in here right and again more and more manufacturers are going to the lighter um mm -hmm. because that's what customers want um what else you want to know i think that's everything i that nobody I, I shouldn't say nobody's asking questions but i'm not getting any questions from anybody which means you've been very thorough we've had a couple yeah couple of the salesmen that haven't had any questions come in because they can tell them everything they need to know. Yeah, there's, there's uh, a lot. And again, I am Carrie, extension 117. Um, we're always here to help whatever questions. Did they talk about the Buckeye Service Guarantee? We have talked about that. We, Nationwide we, Service we'll Network. Mention it again. Um, yeah. You know, those are the two biggest things that do separate us apart from everybody else in the industry is the fact we, we do take care of our customers mm -hmm. in a very big way. Not anywhere just, in the country. Anywhere in the country. Yeah. My farthest customer is Alaska. Really? That's awesome. You know, that, that's, that's, you know. That's impressive. It's a good story to tell. And they, so. you have people up there that can take care of them if their RV goes down. We have 2,700 service centers across the country, uh -huh. right? And so, and really, you know, we're not going to sell to you if we don't have the ability to take care of you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yes, we have places, you know, there that if something happens, because certainly they're not going to come back to Ohio. Right, right. Right? Yeah. Um, and on top of that, we saved them a lot of money. Yeah. Great. So. Perfect. Yep. All right. Well, thanks a bunch. I'm sure All I'll right. see you again later tonight. Later this evening. Or later this afternoon. Yeah. So.